briefly define the nuclear desalination uh, concept. We can say nuclear desalination technology uses uh, heat and electricity created by nuclear power plant or simply nuclear reactor to separate the salt uh, and other unwanted or unnecessary minerals uh, from the seawater to decrease the salinity of the water and concentration of other particles to uh, make it proper for drinking. So um, through this uh, presentation, I would like to uh, find the answers for these four uh, WH questions. So generally, why desalination is important, uh, which methods are available and uh, which methods are economic, efficient, and should be used. What is the cost of desalination? You know, one of the most important um, parameters in desalination is the price of final uh, desalinated water, uh, which is very, very important. And how um, to combine the uh, nuclear power plant to desalination plant. This is also important, which uh, types of connections between the nuclear reactors and generally the second um, uh, circuit of the nuclear power plant can be used to combine it to the uh, desalination uh, plant. So water uh, is a limited and valuable uh, source, which is a basic of the human existence and uh, the essential aspect of developing uh, productions and economy. The uh, demographic uh, statistics have predicted that the population between the 2011 and 2050 will increase uh, like from 7 billion to 9.3 billions while the natural water sources remain constant. If it's not um, uh, possible to significant, significantly reduce and uh, even uh, eliminate the, this shortage, I mean the shortage of the uh, fresh water, then many countries of the world will be threatened by the growing of food shortage, rising social tensions, and even war for uh, water. So uh, um, uh, energy demand between 2015, 2015 and 2040 is expected to grow by a bit uh, more than 28 to uh, percent. Um, uh, in this figure, we can see the, the different parts of the world which are facing shortage of um, Fresh water in this figure, you can see the main parts are countries of uh, Middle East and North Africa, and some parts of, uh, let's say, uh, other uh, regions such as Australia also is facing this problem. Uh, developing uh, the desalination technologies has started uh, since the mid 20s, and principally the countries located in the highest risk regions such as the Middle East and North Africa, as I explained, uh, expressed their interest in the, in the using of uh, desalination technologies. A number of countries in the Middle East, which uh, have great economic opportunities, already utilizing uh, the um, large and high technology desalination uh, plants for producing, producing fresh water. About uh, more than 150 countries uh, are trying to solve their freshwater problems by means of um, desalination technologies. In this figure, we can see uh, the main desalination technologies, but there are just uh, some of them which can use for commercial and large scale applications. For example, if we consider the filtration, then the using of uh, reverse or osmosis or very famous RO membranes can be uh, the, the best option, and if we consider the evacuation uh, processes in which thermal energy is also uh, required, then we can consider multi-effect distillation, MED, or multi-stage flash dis uh, desalination, which is called MSD. So the main uh, procedures, I mean the thermal ones, are MED and MSF. And the, uh, the membrane technologies, which requires just electricity for operation, uh, the, best, the best one is uh, the membrane uh, the reverse osmosis. So um, in this figure, we can see the four uh, components which are required for desalination. Firstly, we need uh, the feed water from the sea, which is called like 
brine water or very, very concentrated salty water. Then we need some amounts of energy. The energy can be like electricity and heat. In our case, the heat from the nuclear reactor can be used. Then the combination of these uh, two uh, will give us product or fresh water and also reject brine inside which uh, a large amount of, uh, let's say, salt or other uh, solved uh, materials exist. So uh, in this uh, figure, we can see the uh, share of different um, technologies. Uh, on the top side, we can see the share of uh, RO or reverse osmosis is like about 60%, which is very, which shows the very, let's say, uh, uh, the interest of the world in using reverse osmosis technologies. Following by MSF technology with 27%, MED with 8%, and other technologies less than uh, like 10%. So if you want to simply show you guys how the desalination technologies are operating, it's, uh, I just want to briefly explain what's happening. Um, uh, let's start with the multi-stage flash or MSF distillation plant. Simply, we have seawater, uh, which is coming from sea by means of some pumps. Then we have some preheaters, some chambers. Uh, so uh, because of that, we are calling this technology to be multi-stage because we have 10 to 20 stages with decreasing pressure and temperature. So the water from the sea will come and uh, by means of preheaters, its temperature will start to be increased. And at the final uh, stage, uh, we will use the heat from the nuclear power plant, in our case, nuclear power plant, to increase the temperature. And after that, we will let the water, the high temperature water, saturated water, to uh, big chambers with low pressure. What will be happen? It's obvious, flash or very fast evaporation. Then these uh, evaporated waters will be collected by means of some trays. And after that, we will have our fresh water also discharge or brine water with high uh, salt, high amount of salt will be uh, collected and uh, by means of some considerations, it can be discharged to other places. So uh, in this figure, we can see the very large MSF or multi-stage flash desalination plants in uh, United uh, Arab Emirate and also in Saudi Arabia. So. Uh, about uh, the uh, multi-effect distillation or MED, the process is the same, but we have some, let's say, improvements over MSF. In, in uh, MED plants, we also have so many, let's say, from 10 to 12 or 8 to 12 uh, stages with decreasing pressure. But here, we do not have large chambers. So we have tubes. Here, uh, hot water comes inside or comes, uh, uh, is directed uh, through the tubes. And water from the sea is sprayed on the hot surface of these um, tubes. Its temperature increases and phase change will be happened, evaporation and so on. What else uh, will be happen is the same as uh, we explained about the MSF. The difference between the MED and MSF is that MED uh, processes require less heat and less temperature, finally, it means that less price for MED desalination plan. So if you want to briefly explain what's happening inside the, the RO uh, or reverse osmosis membranes, then we can see this picture. I will explain a little bit. Um, we have um, highly, uh, let's say, con high concentration of salt inside seawater. If you can see at the left-hand side, we have high, uh, let's say, uh, concentration, then we should uh, have some uh, pressure on this water. We are using high pressures, uh, high pressure pumps with the pressure of about 60 to 80 bars to let the water, I mean the salty water, permeate from the semi-permeable membranes. Then we will have very, very high quality uh, pure water. So um, in this figure, we can see the, uh, the block or unit of RO uh, plant in which we can see several, I mean, the white uh, 
cylindrical pressure vessels of RO desalination system inside which we have three to six different membranes. So uh, we have also uh, another uh, type of uh, desalination plant, which is the uh, combination of uh, both the thermal, I mean MED or MSF, and the RO membranes. So we will need both the RO or um, MED or MSF for uh, desalination. By means of that, we will have hybrid desalination systems in which uh, the efficiency of the system will considerably be increased. And also it's possible to use the, let's say, uh, the brine water or discharge water of um, membrane system as a feed water for uh, uh, thermal desalination plants, uh, by means of which the uh, <clears throat> The water, the amount of water that is required to be pumped from the sea will be decreased, and uh, let's say the danger to the uh, environment also will be decreased. Also, the cost for desalination uh, considerably will be uh, increased. So, uh, as I stated in many reports, uh, also some other sources of energy like solar energy is often labeled as the free energy and it's env environmentally friendly, it's not so simple to evaluate feasibility and cost of uh, solar desalination. The major disadvantage of the solar water distiller uh, are uh, weather dependent. It means that today weather is good, tomorrow is like cold, the sun does not shine, so you cannot have your desalination plant operate. So this is one of the most important disadvantage of such uh, intermittent uh, energy source. But in the case of nuclear, let's say a power plant, it can be used uh, like through the year, uh, excluding some one months for one month, one to three, one to two months of refueling and other stuff. So in the, uh, from that point of view, and also economic point of view, nuclear desalination is very proper for uh, nuclear energy is very proper for desalination application. So uh, in general, and according to the type of coolant used, uh, there are two types of nuclear reactors that are used in desalination, light water reactors or LWRs and the heavy water reactors or HWRs. Light water reactors uh, category also include boiling water reactors and pressurized water reactors, whereas the heavy water reactors include pressurized heavy water reactors and other stuff about which I don't want to talk. So what I want to say is that all types of the nuclear reactors actually can be used for desalination, but our focus is on the pressurized and boiling water reactors because the worldwide experience with uh, operating like with the light water reactors is uh, like too much and it's uh, very proper for um, non-electric applications such as desalination. So one of the best uh, uh, examples of using nuclear desalination system is at uh, the country of Kazakhstan uh, at Aktau, which operated from uh, 1973 to its shutdown like to 1999. It was something about 27 years with the reactor of fast reactor of BM350. And it was a really good experience of the nuclear desalination worldwide. And in this figure, we can see the picture of this uh, desalination complex. Um, with the capacity, with a total capacity of about 80,000 cubic meters of fresh water per day. So uh, there are several possible schemes for coupling desalination plant with nuclear power plant. Uh, the, the most, and uh, the most, uh, let's say, uh, the simplest uh, uh, process is just to use the heat or electricity from a nuclear power plant to drive the NED, MSF, or R or desalination plants. Second option is the use of hybrid uh, schemes, which means NED plus RO or MSF plus RO. The third option is the integrated hybrid scheme 
in which we can use the brine or rejected water of the RO membranes to feed them MED or MSF plants, which is very, very effective and the costs will be decreased. So the fourth and the best option, but a little bit maybe in some cases uh, with uh, low safety. In, point of, in my point of view, it's not low safety, but maybe some people think like that is the use of cooling water of the nuclear power plant or a condenser of the nuclear power plant to feed the <coughs> desalination plants. With that being said, uh, the price for intake water will be decreased, will be, will be uh, uh, omitted, and the pumps to take the water from the sea will be completely omitted. So in this figure, we can see different parts of the second cycle of the nuclear uh, uh, power plant, uh, we have high pressure turbine, uh, HP tur turbine, low pressure or LP turbine, generator, moisture separator, reheaters, preheaters, condenser, and the steam generator of the uh, nuclear power plant. So it's possible for us to, uh, to get the heat uh, or thermal energy from different points, as you can see, I mean the 12, 8, seven, six, and also one, two, three, four, five, nine, ten, and eleven. All the red circles can be used to take the energy uh, for desalination. But the best option is the option that is uh, in which the temperature of the water is not very high. For example, uh, at the point 12, the temperature is 274, uh, which is a little bit high for desalination processes. Desalination processes require the temperature of the water, uh, of the heating water to be from 80 to 130. So this, is, this, this uh, case will not be so efficient and the, the amount of losses will be uh, a little bit much.